best requests, and a few people made it, was for antlions. This is an antlion larva. You can see that they move backwards. It has a pair of scissor-like mandibles up front there. Definitely the business end of the animal. And what they do is they create little pits. You can see it here. There's a dark sort of spot right there in the center. And you can see another antlion there with its jaws. Its mandibles slightly exposed. Oh, they just opened. So we're gonna do a feeding demonstration here in a moment. I'm gonna talk about this over here a little bit. So they tend to occur in dry areas of the country. They're very widespread. And this one here is quite small. You can see there next to my fingertip. Um, it will probably get three to four times as large as this in terms of mass. Not too significantly longer, but um, more and more plump as it grows. And this one doesn't like being out in the open here, so we're going to put it back in its sand pit momentarily. They tend to like a very fine sand. This is the sand that they were actually collected in there. And so it's not as fine as what many people use when they um, purchase sand from pet stores and whatnot. Come on up here, little guy. Oh, we turned it over there accidentally. Oh, it went back over. I was going to show the underside of the animal, but since we uh, didn't get that shot, we'll just put this one back in here. Um, I'm going to drop it into the sand there, and you guys can see how they dig themselves back into the ground. You see it wiggling its little cute bottom there. And uh, momentarily you will see it completely disappear. Normally they will dig their pits down and using their mandibles, I think they flick the little grains of sand out over and over and over again until what remains is a pit as you'll see here when we do the feeding demonstration in a moment. And when prey comes by and sort of falls into the pit, it's sort of difficult to see the pit here. Um, from this angle, you can see the divot, the recess a little bit better against the flat ground. And so, when an ant, for example, comes past, the uh, ant lion is waiting there at the bottom. You saw it flicking the sand out there just now. Um, and uh, they're constantly perfecting their pit to make it a better trap for passing prey. And so if you imagine an ant coming down at the side there, um, the ant will fall in there, and the whatever prey item falls in there, they have difficulty getting their footing, and it almost seems the more they try to climb out of the pit, the more it creates an avalanche and causes them to fall into the jaws right there. Let's get in there a little bit closer. Getting some good footage here of the flicking behavior. Nice big couple chunks of sand there. So let's see if we can get it to feed. Um, part of what's going on here is that I have bumped the table numerous times and so that's sort of creating micro avalanches. And so without bumping the table too much here, I'm going to drop some fruit flies in there and this could happen very quickly. There you go. Um, they are fantastic to watch. I won't even pretend like that was lucky. The antlions, they pretty much are consistent performers in the way you just saw. So there you go. A couple people requested antlion videos. And uh, I'll just say two more things about them before we go. 
Number one, the animal always reminds me of that scene from The Wrath of Khan where um, that, that alien organism was dropped into, I think it was Chekhov's ear. And then the other thing is that it always, they remind me of the Sarlacc pit in um, Return of the Jedi, where they go out on Jabba's sail barge and they're going to feed uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca <laughs> to the pit where they will be digested over the course of thousands of years, I think it was. And uh, anyway, watch the movie for the rest of the story. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.